Oh, look who's finally awake. No, Sis just left a few minutes ago. Something about an emergency meeting, I guess. Her work called, and then she left in a hurry. Told me to tell you that she's not going to be home until late tonight. And Mom and Dad already left work, too. That means I'm stuck with you today. I hate summer vacation. I'd rather be at school than stuck home alone with an idiot like you. No, she didn't have time to make breakfast before she left. She was about to, but her call got to her too quickly. I don't think she even had time to put away the ingredients. Fine, if you want to go make breakfast, you can do whatever. I'm going to keep sitting down here and enjoying the peace and quiet while you're not in this room. <laughs> what? I didn't ask for you to make me anything. Why would I want to eat something made by an idiot like you? That, that was not my stomach growling. Shut up. Fine, I'll eat it just because there's leftovers. I'm sure an idiot like you can't eat all of what you made. Well, it's not bad, I guess. Not bad for an idiot like you, at least. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Can you just shut up and eat your own food? Leave me alone. No, I didn't have anything planned to do today. I was just going to stay at home and read or watch TV or something. Since I don't have any more schoolwork to do over the break, I already finished it all with Rosie's help. Isn't Rose the one who usually does the errands? You don't need to earn extra points with her. She's already obsessed with you. It's annoying. I don't see why she likes such an idiot like you. Why do I have to help you run the errands? The bribe of buying whatever snacks I want at the grocery store in exchange for having to spend more time with you doesn't sound like it's really in my favor. Fine. If you're going to be so lonely, then I guess I can join you. But you better not embarrass me in public. Here, give me your plate. You made breakfast. I might as well wash the dishes. It's only fair, I guess. Just hand it over. Thank you. Now go change out of your pajamas. If we're going to the grocery store, you can't go dressed like that. Okay, so I don't think we need that much from the store. Just the usual milk, eggs, butter. And I Yes, ingredients for dinner. Mm, yeah, Rose tends to go to the store almost every day if she can. Doesn't she drag you along? <laughs> of course you'd enjoy spending time with her. You're like a little puppy who follows her around. It's annoying. 
Yeah, well, she was my sister first. Just because your dad married our mom doesn't mean that you're more important to Rose. I'm not jealous. And I'm not pouting. Shut up, you idiot. Let's just get what we came here for. Uh, you're so infuriating. No, we have to check the eggs first, dummy. Because what if we just picked up any carton? They could be cracked inside. Didn't Rosie ever teach you that? You're so helpless. So what if I'm mean? It's not like I like you anyway. Maybe if I liked you, I wouldn't be so mean to you. But you're always getting on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, quit your complaining. Let's just get the rest of the stuff. Why do we have to stop by the bakery? We have enough bread at home. I don't need any sweets. Fine. If you insist, then I guess we could pick up some muffins or cupcakes or uh, cookies. You know, just because you want to. It's not like I want any of it. Uh, that looks so good. Huh. I didn't say anything, dummy. Hurry up and pick something out already. Well, I'll pick this. You're just getting that. Well, that's Rose's favorite, not yours. Aren't you going to get anything for yourself? Suck up. Fine, I'll get this too then. Because I'm the younger one, it's fine if I pick out multiple items. No, it's not just because of you. You may like these, but I like them too. So it's not like I'm picking them out for you or anything. Don't ruffle my hair. Do you want me to hit you? Oh, you think I won't hit you in public? I definitely would. Don't test me. Let's just go to the register and pay for everything. <sighs> I'm perfectly capable of carrying some of the bags. Yeah, well, you're going to look really stupid if you try to carry everything yourself. See, you're stumbling all over the place. Here, give me some of the bags. Just because I'm shorter than you doesn't mean I'm weak. I'll probably grow to be just as tall as you. Or at least as tall as Rose. I'm the youngest, so I still have time to grow. You can't make fun of my height. Look. We're almost home. Let's get the groceries inside and put away. Okay. Was there anything else we had to do today? Any more places you wanted to drag me off to? The bookstore. Why do we have to go there? There's a sale on manga. You want to go there just for that? Can't you read it online or something? You'd rather have it, an actual copy. Fine, whatever. Let's just go already. Pick out your nerdy stuff.
why would I want to get any of them? I read normal books. What do you mean I'm like this character? A sundere? Are you insulting me? You're such a dumbass. I hate you. I'm going over here to look at books that I actually like. You can keep over here in your little nerdy zone fangirling over girls with large chests and pervy sh stuff. Idiot. Can't believe I'm having to live in the same house with you. You done picking out your nerd comics already? Yeah, good. Then I guess we can go home. I'm not reading anything. I wasn't reading anything. No, I was just looking at stuff. So what if I'm in the romance section? It doesn't mean I'm interested in that stuff. Dummy, let's just go home already. What else do you have to do today? The garden. Sis takes care of that every day. Why do you have to? Yeah, I guess she's coming home late, but the plants aren't gonna die just from one day. It's not like you're good with plants anyway. I guess I can help you. In exchange for what? I told you I didn't want any of the books. I wasn't reading anything. Fine. If you want to buy me one, then I'll consider that payment for you dragging me around today. Stop calling me that. I really will hit you. I don't care if we're in public. So what? I can have an interest in girly things too. I am a girl. It's not like I fantasize about romance stories or anything. It's just that they're entertaining. The characters aren't nearly as annoying as you are. Side. How can plants even live out in this heat? Yeah, I guess some of them are meant to grow in this temperature, but I don't want to be out here long. Just tell me what you need me to do so we can go back inside. Fine, I'll take care of the weeding then, I guess. You water everything or whatever else needs to be done. What do you mean some of the plants are missing? What? Mm, the roses are gone? But those are Sis's favorite. Where do you think they went? Did they die? It does kind of look like they've been cut. I don't know why. You pricked your finger on the thorns last time? Stop. 
still, why would Sis remove them just because you got hurt? Oh, well, I don't know either. Let's just brush it off. I don't think asking her would be such a good idea. She'd probably just brush it off. Ugh, it looks like it's starting to rain. Let's go back inside already. I don't want to get soaked. And that's it, right? We didn't have anything else to do? Yeah, but that's still hours away. We don't have to worry about dinner yet. What do you mean? We only went to a couple places. What are you talking about? It wasn't so bad, was it? Any amount of time I have to spend with you is intolerable. Fine. I guess it wasn't so bad. But you're still an idiot. I would have rather spent time with Rose. Stop ruffling my hair, big idiot. Just because you're older than me doesn't mean you get to treat me like a child. <laughs>